Hello all and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing number 14 in the Essential Elements book. Now number 14 is a super easy piece so I'm going to go over just kind of how and where to place your first finger, okay? So what I like my students to do is get in guitar position first. And we're going to take this finger, these two fingers here that make an L in our left hand, our thumb and our pointer finger. And we're going to go ahead and place them about an inch down the neck and the finger board, okay? About an inch. I'm gonna go ahead and take that first, that thumb, stick it up straight. Make sure if I have my violin like this, like it was sticking up, touching the ceiling, because it comes out, it's just sticking over. I'm gonna take my first finger and place it on the E string, okay? I'm gonna kind of pluck, play around with the sound. Make sure it's, it sounds good. Um, it should be matching my E if your first finger E's in tune. Then I'm going to go up to shoulder position and grab my bow and go ahead and play the rhythms. And now, guys, I want you to go ahead and play this with me so you can hear that you are playing the correct note. So let's go. One, two, ready, go. How do I know my E's in tune? Well, one, you can play the video with me. You could play it on a piano. You could play along with a tuner. The other thing you can do, if you don't have any of those around you while you're practicing, is you can listen for the harmonic series to activate. Because if my E's in tune, what will happen is it will vibrate my open E string, leaving a higher pitch sound after I'm done playing. And I can hear it. It might not come across to the recording, but if you at home are playing in a tune, you should be able to hear it too. So it's number 14. 